It's beer o'clock on Relail Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Thornbridge Brewery and it's a can of their Double Dry Hopped Jiper. It's a 440 can coming at a 5.9% ABV. I'm really excited for this. I'm really excited for this. I picked it up in Morrison's. I think it's a real coop. I think this is a real coop for Morrison's, this, picking this up. I've been very, very happy so far with the Morrison's kind of selection of craft beers. I think they've been very careful. I think they've been very thoughtful with it. And I think they've ticked a lot of boxes for the craft beer drinker. Some great breweries in Morrison's from Northern Monk to North to Thornbridge. There's some crackers out there. I've wanted to try this beer. I think it came out about between eight months and a year ago. Um, I wanted it and then forgot about it. I went online, it was sold out. After a few days, I forgot all about it. I was in Morrison's, bang, there it is. It's uh, brewed to celebrate 15 years of Jaipur. Without further ado, let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. I'm massively excited for this beer. I'm a big fan of Jaipur. It's a good beer. We got a three to four finger white head. Good levels of carbonation. Hazy looking IPA. Ah, looks good. Looks really good. And have a look at this as I roll the beer around in the glass. You can see that carbonation chasing the, the head of the glass. A nice cloudy, cloudy head. Is that the word? Maybe candy floss, like a candy flossy head going on. Lovely looking beer, let's get the aroma. It smells like Jaipur of old. It smells of Jaipur of old. Hmm. When I first drank Jaipur, it was one of the first craft beers we ever drank on the channel and it completely blew my mind. 11 years ago now we reviewed this beer. It was in a little 330 milliliter bottle and it was a great beer. This really reminds me of the original version of Jaipur. Floral, grapefruity, Lemony. Ooh, let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Oh, blimey. Oh, I can be really controversial here. I can be really controversial. I'm enjoying it. I'm really, really enjoying it. Oh. It's Jai Pur of old. It's Jai Pur of old. This is, this is, wow. Um, Stone the crows! First of all, stone the crows! Stone the crows! Yes, 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 yes! I've got Jaipur back. I've got Jaipur back. Jaipur as I remember it. As I remember it. Stone the crows! I love the original Jaipur. Brilliant! Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Um, hoppy, juicy, passion fruit, grapefruit, lemon, tropical. Oh, it's beautiful, beautiful beer. Lovely bitterness on the back end, a little bit of sweetness to begin with. Carbonation pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth. 
<laughs> the drinkability on this beer is terrific. Amazing, amazing. Right, some of you passionate viewers of mine, so people who watch my channel all the time, you've probably heard me talk about Jaipur. The story of Jaipur, what happened, different supermarkets, blah, 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 blah. So um, I'm going to briefly tell it again because I think it's really important because we've gone full circle. We have definitely gone full circle. Three can, three pound a can. Three pound a can. It's cost. What has brought this back? This double dry hopped Jaipur. For me, original Jaipur in a can. Is that it's three pound a can. And Thornbridge can afford to brew the original Jaipur again at three pound a can. It's the cost of hops. Cost of hops went through the roof. So, where are we? I start, my first ever review of Thornbridge Draper came from a company, not around anymore, they're called My Brewery Tap. They were one of the first online beer shops in the UK. It was difficult to sell craft beer on the internet back in the day. A lot of people tried, a lot of people failed. It was just too early. It was all there. It was growing, but it wasn't growing fast enough. It didn't quite make it. Now everybody's drinking at home in 2020 and they'd probably be a multi-million pound company. But apart from that, my first beer, my first joy beer, come from my brewery tap and it was amazing. Absolutely loved it. After two or three years um, of, of being able to buy that beer online and probably at Thornbridge, Thornbridge's website, you started to see the beer in... Waitrose, 500 ml bottles of Jaipur and their New Zealand Pale Ale. I, can't, I never remember the name of it, but it was beautiful. And it was kind of pricey. It was one of the most expensive beers you could buy in Waitrose, but it was original Jaipur and it was really, really good. Okay, fast forward. Oh, I think the beer then was about £2.50, £2 for a bottle. Okay, so fast forward. I gotta be careful. I gotta, I gotta cover this one. It was a, it was a 500 ml bottle for two pound fifty. This is a 440 milliliter can. So they're saving 60 ml, and they're charging you three pounds. That's the reason why they can sell this original Jaipur and call it double dry hop Jaipur. Original Jaipur, I'm gonna call this for three pound a can. It's doable again. Right, five years goes by, all of a sudden you start to see Jaipur in Asda, Morrison's, Tesco, everywhere. Cans of Jaipur, bottles of Jaipur, then it just went to cans of Jaipur, four pack orange cans of, 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 of Jaipur, you could pick up um, two for nine pound. And it was nice, it was okay, but it definitely was, it definitely wasn't the Jaipur of old, the Jaipur that you bought from my brewery tap or the Jaipur you bought from Waitrose. It definitely was a, a watered down version of Jaipur. And that's because of the price of hops. And that's because the beer dropped to below two pounds a bottle, which was a crying shame because I loved the beer. And it was a crying shame that it, it kind of got diluted and watered down. So really, I'm gonna be honest, I stopped drinking Jaipur. I stopped drinking Jaipur, I reviewed it, I bought a perfect draft of it, which was okay, um, good, good, okay, good, nothing really memorable. Uh, back in 20, I, I bought a keg of it on, on the perfect draft in 2020. I don't go searching for Jaipur like I used to. So I pop into Morrison's today, on the off chance, 31st of March 2021. And I see this and I go, ooh, that looks nice. Pick that up, review it. And I think they've it's gone full circle. They're now able to afford to make this beer 440 milliliter. They've saved the 60 mil from the 500 mil bottle. 440 plus 60 is 500. Sorry for being that person. Um, and they're selling it for three pound a can. 
This, without a shadow of a doubt, is the original version of Jaipur. And I love it. Let's rate it. It's a beautiful beer. It's so well balanced. The water's so soft. It's so drinkable. Please, if anybody from Thornbridge ever watches this video, please leave this double dry hop Jaipur alone. Please do not change it. Even if it's just me buying it in the supermarket, please, Thornbridge, do not change this beer. I love it. It's a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 from Relo Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.